Hansen was shocked by the voice that suddenly came from his mind, and he could hardly believe the existence of sacred bloodline creatures and beast souls. He had learnt that the creatures in God's holy city were divided into ordinary creatures, primitive creatures, mutated creatures, and sacred bloodline creatures, and that by eating the flesh of different types of creatures, they gained different gene points, which in turn strengthened their abilities. In the process of evolution, Completing a physical evolution leads to the next area, and the strength of the gene points determines the possibility of survival in the next area. Divine bloodline beast souls were undoubtedly one of the best beast souls, and each one could be sold for a sky-high price. Hansen accepted this reality almost incredulously, but at the same time felt an overwhelming sense of excitement and opportunity. He picked up his dagger and pried open the black beetle's armor, filling his mouth with the tender flesh. He almost shed a tear as he felt the flesh transform into energy and the sound in his head. He continued to eat the flesh of the black beetle, gaining seven sacred gene points beyond his wildest dreams. He realized that his chance had come and that he could potentially change his destiny if he could only use the resources at his disposal. However, on his way back to Steelclad City, he was ridiculed and looked down upon by those around him. He was nicknamed the Ass Freak and became the laughing stock of the entire holy city, and no one wanted to associate with him. In the midst of his hardship, Hansen did not give up. He realized that entering God's holy city was not an easy task, and that he needed to overcome challenges and prove his worth. This was because of a previous embarrassing incident related to Qin Xuan, who was a strong woman in the steel armor fortress. That was why Hansen had such a difficult time, but he didn't really blame Qin Xuan. It was his fault in the first place. He had been too nervous when he first came to the Holy Land of God. Plus, he had not seen the creature in his previous world and had attacked the monster's buttocks without knowing that the creature was a change of Qin Xuan, which had led him to make an unforgivable mistake. Despite his difficult situation, Han Sen took responsibility for his actions and thanked Qin Xuan for not hurting him. The only fortunate thing was that the teleportation into God's Holy Land was always random and there were no acquaintances in the steel-armored shelter, so no one knew his real name.